：“你好吗？我中国朋友，我是老师，我 Joe Derek， 谢谢你，看连我 YouTube 收费。” Welcome to Rick's construction class. I want to thank all my viewers, including my Chinese friends. The last video we got a good response, and I appreciate that. And so keep it up. But today we'll be looking at some tools we need to start a tiling job. So one of the item is really one of the tools is really a measuring tape. This is about a 16 feet measuring tape. They are bigger ones, but this one is ideal for a do-it-yourself, a small room that you want to do, and that's a measuring tape. So next item is really a next tool is really the cord line. This is used to find the center of the room so that you can strike your cord line to start tiling from the center of the room. So this is very important also. We also need a rubber mallet. This is used to tap the tile in place. So we tap it in place by using a rubber mallet. There are also bigger ones, but based on the size tile and the job you're doing, this is a bigger one, you will decide on which size to use, but it's just to tap the tile in place, not to hit it and break it, just to tap it in place. That's a rubber mallet. When you're tapping the tile, it's really to tap it in place. It's not to hit it to get it level. Because you don't want to break it. You don't want to break the tile. It's easily broken. If it's not, tap and knock. You're supposed to tap it in place, not to knock. So this, you have to be very careful when you're tapping the tile in place. It can be broke. It can break the tile. A very small item you will also need is a pencil to mark. Yeah. You want to mark the area. Even though you do the marking with your card line, you need a pencil to have a more permanent mark. Because the card line is marked with dust from the chalk. So the pencil is a more permanent mark. So you need a pencil, something to mark. The next tool you need is your angle grinder. It's used to cut the tile. And sometimes you're doing any curve cut. This is ideal to do that. They also do straight cut, but for round cuts and so forth and making circles, it's good. So it's an angle grinder. Used to cut the tile. Yes, so you need that. Yes, you also need a tile cutter. This is a standard size tile cutter. Used to cut the tile. Mainly do straight cut. Unlike the angle grinder that do, does um, round cut and so this one mainly the straight cut and it's a much quicker and cleaner cut the angle grinder is a bit dusty but this one you know is a straight cut and remember with the dust you, you need a dust mask when using the angle grinder so this is a tile cutter for your straight cuts so your tile cutter is used to really cut your tile giving straight cuts so what you do there's a diamond blade in that and we rest the diamond blade down and we push it up and once you push it up the tile is cut you don't need to do anything more than put some support on it and the tile break in two or break to where you want it so you'll also need for the job a nipple this is used to take small pinch from your tile where the angle grinder or the tile cutter isn't able to do that job, you'll use a nipper, tile nipper, to pinch away small bits and pieces from the tile. So this is a tile nipper or a pincher to pinch a tile. So we have two sides, or there are other sides, other brands. So as do it yourself, or you'll choose one that is ideal and reasonable in cost for you. So the tile nipper is really our pincher is used used to pinch the tile 
sometimes it is just a little piece to take off and just pinch it pinch it probably it's a curve you're making you just pinch it to make that curve because sometimes fitting it in a corner you need to pinch the curve so that it could fit in the corner so it's just a pinch it out pinch away so that is how the nipper comes in handy so this is a nipper to nip your tile yeah so you also need a steel float this is used to spread the, the tin set the adhesive base on the floor and sometimes you're back buttering the tile you need this to spread the tin set both on the tile and on the ground on the floor so this is what we call a notch float and the size depends on the size style you use whatever size style you're using this notch so these notches will go accordingly but this is basically a notch float to spread the adhesive the tin set this is also important yes yeah, so you also need a shovel to sometimes spread the mortar to clean away the mortar from some crevice and corner and to probably move it from the joints the toilet um, when the tile and you want to remove it clean the joint you, you use your thing some person use it to mix the, the tin set but i wouldn't recommend that you need a, a mixer to mix the thing but these are tools that are very important in the whole aspect of tiling yes you'll also need a pair of latex gloves protect your hands when handling any cementous material it can be very harmful to the hands and because the latest gloves is so close to the hands you can feel the tile when laying them so this is the ideal pair of gloves to handle tile when laying them and to clean the mortar joints sometimes it's excess and you don't want to use the bare hands because it can damage it a pair of latex gloves come in handy Yes, we'll also need some spacers. These are used to space the tiles apart so that you can get a grout joint. So that when you're grouting a tile, your floor, you have a sufficient grout to fill the area. So you need a spacers. So this is important. You'll also need what you call a square. This is a builder's square to make sure that the room is square and if it's not you are going to do corrective measures so this is also need needed to square your area and if it's not square we do our corrective measures and adjust it so this is what you need also yeah sometimes the corner is not square and so it will show off the tiling job so you need to know that your corner is square and this corner is not square so there will be adjustment done so that is where the square come in handy to make sure that your corner is square this one is not square so we'll just make adjustment and fix that you'll also need your sponge to wipe your tile to clean your tile while grouting or after grouting so that your area is clean and not messy these are sponge that we use to wipe the tile clean remove the excess more um, adhesive or grout so you're going to need a sponge so you'll also need a knee pad this is used to put on your knee so that when you're bending and putting pressure on the knee you have something to be protecting your knee so this is a knee pad this is also needed you can get different quality and brand but this is a very reasonable one for you do it yourself first this one is ideal so you need a container to mix your adhesive the tin set and so you use a bucket to mix your tin set in it can be a small one as well as a, a, a based on the, set, the quantity you want to mix at the time but this is appropriate this is ideal for the tile you're going to lay and you mix your tin set in your bucket so you need a container so these are basically some of the tools that you'll need to start the job. We are now at number one. If you have made it to the end of this video, congratulations. You're about to find out 
one of the most important tools you need in tiling. The spirit level. You want your tiles to be level, so you need your spirit level. Thank you all. The last video, we got over 600 views. For this video, I'm looking for at least a thousand views. So share it with your friends. Like my videos. Subscribe for more. Take care to see my last video. See you later. Tai Chen.